Hello, we have just had the ECB rate announcement. They cut interest rates as expected by 25 basis points down to 3.5% and they have cut their main refinancing rate and everything is all as expected. The market is now waiting for the press conference, which is about to start. And we're going to be listening for the forward guidance about the possibility of a cut in October. Um, which I don't know that I'm expecting, but it'll be interesting to see actually how uh, the ECB forward guidance is. This was a widely expected um, rate cut today. They've done what was expected. Um, so the next policy steps are gonna be more important. And it's really interesting how much less attention they get, the ECB is getting compared to the Federal Reserve. The most interesting thing for me in this um, uh, announcement was that they cut growth forecasts for the next three years. They cut growth forecasts for this year, for 2025 and 2026, which is pretty negative. In fact, it was a pretty um, negative uh, report in that respect. So that's what we're waiting for and it will be all about what they forecast i wanted to talk about the technical levels though that i'm looking at in the euro when um sorry that's still again here we go so let's start with the monthly chart in the euro and on the monthly chart remember when you think you have a big uh, three wave measured move which i think we did from the 1985 low you put your fibs over both swings that's where we are at the moment and for me from the 1985 low to the high that we made in 2008 we've bounced from a 61.8 fib level and for me we're kind of going sideways at this 50 percent pivot point it's kind of like the 50 percent uh it's the midpoint of the all-time lows to highs really in the euro against the us dollar and when you do this, I would normally expect a big three wave correction and then continuing higher to the 38.2, which would take us up to this monthly 200 moving average, which if we look left in the euro is a really big deal. But that would point to quite a lot of euro strength and we would need to see quite a lot of not just strength in the euro, but we would need to see some quite some considerable weakness in the US dollar to get us up there. For now, then, we are really nastily sideways in this sideways trading range. And we have been in this for more than a year, really, since we made a high uh, in June, July 2023. When I look at this in low on lower time frames inside this sideways consolidation, I do think that there's a risk that we're going to do a bigger three wave move lower here. One of the um, and and I also think that 110.20, which is exactly the price we're at at the moment, is a really important decision level for a number of reasons. So first off, if I measure from if you if we think this is just a three wave correction, I put my fibs on both swings, as I explained. And here we are sideways. 110.23 is the 236 fib retrace from the September 2023 year ago low. And so this is a bit of a key decision level. We're also sideways at this weekly 200 moving average. So a big decision level for that reason. Um, also, if we measure these swings, so if we measure from this high to this low like this, so I'm going to measure from this swing high, low to high and project it from this low here, you know, the equal measured move would be a retest of the highs up here at 112.92. And when I do this and I put the 618 fib level on, which is where this swing is 61.8 of the first swing, very often that's also a kind of decision level. In other words, you can say on it should hold a support on a back test as it did last week. And if we close underneath it this week, it usually points to a little bit of an important high being in and a bigger pullback, which would mean for me, first off, back to the middle of this range and 108.35. So where is this magical 61.8 level when I measure from this low to high projected from here? Again, 110.28. So exactly the same price. It's the same price, 236 fit here uh, from this low to high and a back test of this 61.8 level. So pretty interesting support, 110.23 then for this euro. And I really would like to see how after we get through the Fed and uh, through the ECB today and the Fed next week, 
where this level holds because I think it points to bigger move for the dollar. There is a reason to think that we could see the euro weaken further here. And if we look at Fib patterns, so if I measure from this high to this low, it was a messy, first of all, it was a messy reversal here at the 786 Fib. We hit our first target down here, the 38.2, and then we did a very nice three wave measured move here. But we could also say that we are now at this second move reversing at this 886 fib. And when you close underneath the 786, unless you recover that level, the first target is usually this 50% level in here in the middle. So we can say if we don't hold this 11023 support level that we're sideways at, the target for our short trade on the short side is down here to. 1.0835 so those are the big levels that I'm looking at at the moment it's really all going to be about not just what happens today in the press conference and the forward guidance for October and going forward but it's really going to be about the big daddy in the room which is the Fed next week hope that's useful